Hi, I'm H.G. Watson with Daily Extra. Today at Toronto City Hall, the rainbow flag was raised to commemorate the International Day Against Homophobia, Transphobia and Biphobia on May 17th. Mayor John Tory and Councillor Kristen Wong Tam both spoke at the event. We stand here today uh, united in support of all those who have experienced violence, abuse or exclusion because they were different. In a city like Toronto where we value the very essence of diversity, any form of harassment and abuse uh, towards members of the LGBTQ2S community is unacceptable and that is a shared value that we all have as Torontonians. Toronto is a beacon of hope for people who want to live and work and play in a city that celebrates diversity and embraces diversity. And Toronto's LGBTQ2S community, while um, today it faces fewer issues than it did, still faces uh, many continuing challenges. I've had the opportunity now to watch our community grow and evolve. And every single time we do so, we take someone with us. Every time that closet door opens, somebody else walks through with us. And it is absolutely cru crucial that we don't forget that the work is not complete yet. What do you think the city needs to take the lead on next to, to really show the community that they, they are there for them? Um, I mean, there's so much that we, we so need to do. I think that the City of Toronto needs to ensure that all our facilities are fully accessible for the people who are uh, transgendered. So regardless of gender identity and expression, uh, they should have access to services. We need to get to a place where we're having universal uh, change rooms and, and bathrooms. We need to ensure that we're not asking discriminatory questions on city uh, service forms. And, um, and all of that is about education, providing our staff with more information. We have um, all the uh, all the requirements to make that happen. It's about training, it's about active um, uh, information, and it's also about ensuring that we actually follow our own rules. So whether it's increasing the funding for programs that LGBT people need, uh, in this case it might be LGBT shelters, it's about ensuring that the long-term care facilities that we have are going to be LGBT friendly so that seniors don't have to go back into the closet if they need to live, live in a long-term care facility. It's about ensuring that HIV AIDS funding uh, is never cut but also to be enhanced because the community is evolving and things are changing for us. So there's a lot of things that if we put an LGBT lens over our policy and decision making, I think that there's room to do more.